Some called him the best player in baseball in 1946, even though he was not allowed to play in the major leagues. Many thought he was the logical choice to integrate the game in 1947, but Jackie Robinson broke that barrier. For Monty Irvin, however, history was still calling, and once he reached the majors at age 30, Irvin made up for lost time. Monford Merrill Irvin was born on February 25, 1919 in Haleburg, Alabama, and grew up in Orange, New Jersey. Recognized as one of the greatest high school athletes in New Jersey's history, Irvin attended Lincoln University before starring with the Negro American League's Newark Eagles and in the Mexican League. Signed by the New York Giants prior to the 1949 season, Irvin was a regular in the big leagues by 1950 and won the Giants starting left fielder's job in 1951. That summer, Irvin led the Giants in their improbable pennant comeback against the Dodgers. Irvin drove in a National League best 121 runs that year as New York captured the NL flag following the famous three-game playoff that ended with Bobby Thompson's home run. In eight big league seasons with the Giants and Cubs, Irvin batted 293 and posted a 383 on base percentage. Irvin was elected to the Hall of Fame in 1973 by the Committee on Negro Baseball Leagues and worked for the Commissioner's Office for four decades following his retirement. <laughs>